Hi food tubers, I'm Tom Hunt, author of The Natural Cook. I'm here at River Cottage today to cook one of my favorite recipes, baba ganoush. All you need is aubergines, coriander and parsley, lemons, garlic, yogurt and cumin, and a bit of stale bread as well. Okay, so first thing is to char our aubergines on the barbecue. I've already lit the barbecue. If you want to know how I did it, just check here. Straight onto the coals. The coals are nice and hot. Charred the aubergines, they're nice and soft and ready to, ready to go. First things first, let's cut the aubergines open and we're going to scrape that nice soft flesh out. The flesh just peels away from the skin really easily when it's cooked like this. The skins can go out to the compost. I'm going to season this with some toasted cumin, salt, pepper, a little bit of fresh lemon juice. Now that's a perfect baked aubergine salad that you can eat as a side dish just like this or you could add it to a venison carpaccio or turn it through pasta. It's delicious and so simple. But today I'm going to make one of my favourite dishes which is a baba ganoush. We're going to add a couple of ta well, a tablespoon and a half of natural live yoghurt. I'm going to add some stale bread. You don't need much, just about a quarter of a slice. Depending on how stale it is, you'll need to soak it for more or less time. This one's not too bad, so I'm just going to put it in the water for a, a few seconds just to soften up. I'm going to take the bread out, give it a squeeze to get all the water out. It's nice and soft now. I'm going to chop it up. Often baba ganoush is made just with aubergines and tahini, so this is a bit of a variation. Pop that in too. Fresh coriander and parsley. With all my recipes, I'm not going to waste any of the stalks. They're delicious and should be added. Just chop them up nice and fine. Then the leaves you can chop a little bit rougher. Okay, now we're going to chop the whole thing together to make a nice kind of textured puree. You could do this in the blender, but I like to give it a bit of texture, so I roughly chop it with a knife. This is a really nice mild version of a baba ganoush. Bit of salt. Bit of pepper. Now I'm going to add one clove of garlic. I don't like it too garlicky. Add a bit of salt to help it break down. Here we go, got a nice puree. Add that in. Okay, so there's our baba ganoush. I'm just going to dress it with some cumin, toasted cumin seeds, a bit of fresh coriander, some olive oil, and a bit of pepper as well. Now I'm going to serve this just with some simple toasts. You could serve it with tortilla chips or even crudités if you wanted. Now I think we've got three rising stars to come and have a taste. Are you up for coming and trying the baba ganoush? I'm gonna have to get in there too. I'm getting really hungry. Mm. Oh, nice lovely. If you like my recipe, like the video, and subscribe to River Cottage Food Tube.